I want to adjust the speed of the ball, so let's create a new variable for that. In the player controller file, create a new public variable. Unlike the rest, I am making this one public, because we want to adjust the speed value from the Unity editor as well. It will appear here and you can edit it once you make a public variable. So let's make it zero initially, and all we need to do is to multiply the movement vector with the speed value down here. Now save this and go back to Unity. Select the sphere and look at the inspector panel. Let me close the rigid body and input components. Okay, under the script component, you will see the speed field we just created. It is set to zero currently, but we can change it from here. I'm gonna make it 10, see what we got. So yes, it is much faster now, but let's see how 20 will look like. By the way, you can also play with it real time, so we can change the field and see the outcome instantly. It is much faster now, and I liked it. So stop the game, and notice here, the speed field becomes 10 again. So remember, the chains you make during the play mode are not permanent. Unity assumes that chains just for testing, so it reverses all of the settings back to the phase just before the play mode. Okay, so we need to set it 20 again after we quit the game. 